Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, I'm so glad to have you join me today. I mentioned in prior videos that my friend Andrea and I were going on a road trip today and our whole goal was craft shopping. That's why we were going. We went to a fabulous Tuesday morning and a Daiso. We don't have a Daiso anywhere near us. It's three hours. We also went to Impress Cards and Crafts, which I, I showed you guys would have gotten there before, but I hadn't taken any of my local friends there. My friend Andrea definitely thought it was worth the trip. So I made another video of what I got at Daiso and Impress, and this one is my Tuesday morning haul. And it's multiple stores. If memory serves me, we hit Tukwila, Tacoma, and I'm gonna say Centralia, which might be kind of Fife. Anyway, after that, we sort of ran out of hours because by the time we ate dinner and got back on the freeway, things were closing. When you see what I got, you're gonna think I'll be just fine, I'll live. The first thing I wanna show you because it's big and I need to get it out of the way is a couple months ago, my friend hauled one of these from Tuesday morning. It's four by six photo boxes in a case. And so you have all of these four by six photo boxes, two, four, six, eight of them. So 16 photo boxes with the little lids and they store in this big case so you could take them with you. Or I'm thinking about maybe standing mine up on end and taking off this door and then it, it would be like a shelf display. I don't know. We'll see. This was $15.99 and it was funny because I was telling my friend Andrea about what our other friend got and saying how amazing it was. And then sure enough, it was just sitting there on the bottom shelf. And what do I always tell you guys? Check the bottom shelf and check the top shelf. So I'm super excited that I got this. Um, this is made in the US, which I'm excited about because you know how I'm weird about shipping things around the planet. And also I saw somebody haul this week, one that had, it was kind of like, it was kind of like this thing I haul my scraps in where there were five or six of these in a smaller case and I really liked the idea of it but it was rainbow colored and I want mine to be clear I want everything to be easy to find and see through and I think I might use this many so stay tuned I'm not sure if I'm going to use them for scraps or embellishments or if I'll take out a few and use them I'm just not sure exactly how I'm gonna use them but I'm always looking for small cases like this the storage thing that I got at Daiso that sorry that's the old dog <laughs> that I said I didn't love well once I found these I didn't need it as much so I think I'm good I'm super excited about these and I think that this meets my storage needs for quite a while now okay I'm gonna set that aside and then when you go to multiple stores, you can watch and add all the different collections throughout your day. I saw somebody haul this blue and green pad and I'm sure I left them a message that said, oh, I will find it, it will be mine. And now it is at my house. I didn't think early in the day about building collections that I wouldn't necessarily want, but you guys would want because I'm gonna do a giveaway. So that came later and that caused me a little bit of problem, but I'll talk about that later. This is called, what is it called? Splendid, something splendid. And it's kind of a retro ritzy, um, maybe like 40s a little bit. I love it because of the blue and green. I don't know that I needed the brads for $3, but I wanted to try them out. And these were just fun. They have so much glitter on them. I wanted to get the embellishments. My store here, I usually get the paper pads that you guys haul. Not so much the Maggie Homes and a lot of those, but if I see a pad that I like, it eventually shows up. But I don't get nearly the embellishment choices that I saw today. So that's one of the reasons that I bought a lot of embellishments. I also got these because I thought they would be fun for spring cards, because now I'm, I'm thinking spring. Then I stumbled across this, I think my friend has Smile in a bigger one. For $4.99, I got Hello, Shine, Sweet, Happy, Love, Smile, Fun, Live, Laugh. I don't know what this bottom says, honestly. It doesn't matter. I, I really like 
word dies. That's something that I'm having a lot of fun with. I know that a lot of you are into shapes, but I really like sentiments on my cards and I like to punch them out and layer them up and emboss them and do all kinds of stuff with them. So I was excited. They're a little bit small, but I think in some cases I'm going to use more than one. So it should work out pretty good. And I was super happy. I did not need any more winter paper, you guys. And I passed this up at the first one. And then I went to Impress. And they had it at the retail price. And I looked at it there. And I really wanted it. So then when I saw it at the next Tuesday morning for $2.99, I thought, I have got to get that paper pad. I would guess that you guys have seen this. I'm just going to do a quick close-up flip. I don't want to cut all my paper pads open because I think they're more likely to get damaged a little. But... This is just cute, and you guys know what a sucker I am for blue. I thought, I'll put it away. I have a, a friend that really wants me to make cards for a craft show, which I have never done before, but if I'm going to do that, I'll need supplies early and plentiful. So I, I'm kind of keeping that in mind as I'm shopping. I know that I don't need 6x6 six six paper pads. But I had a great time, you guys. I had a great time. Here's another collection that I bought, kind of with the same idea in mind. And these, these Bow Bunny die cut sets, they don't have texture on them and they don't have glitter. But with some TV watching and a bottle of Stickles. Do you guys all know about Stickles? You have to know about Stickles. Stickles is a glitter glue and it's a cute little glitter glue. It comes in a million colors. You've probably heard me say before, I buy diamond. It's my favorite. I have two bottles of it. It has a little bit of iridescent greenish blue in it. I can also use on these a wink of Stella pen. I could use a white pen, a black pen, a clear star jelly roll pen, anything. I'm gonna double check these and be sure I'm telling you. I really like to get embellishments and stickers yeah, that are matte. So I can add embellishments or inks or all that kind of stuff to them. They're not plasticky and they'll take all of that water-based stuff on. So even though maybe these are a little boring, you can do a lot with them before you add them to your cards. So I thought for $2.99, I really like to have the matching embellishments. And like I said, my store, not good at this. I went back today to the stores that I showed you before where everything was crazy organized. So if you have a store that organizes everything in the Bow Bunny section, you can just flip through the tops. See how the tops of these tabs have the colors of the collection on them? You can find this stuff so fast, just like this, look. I mean, if they're sorting by brand, it's like heaven. I might add some footage from the store so you can see what how great it was at the end. This is fall, but it has blue in it, you guys, and it's great. Again, I don't want to open my paper, all my paper pads because I want to keep them nice and tidy and safe, but look at that. So I thought that would be really fun. I don't have much fall, and last year I had trouble getting it in time to actually make cards with it. So I got those, but I mean, $6, that's pretty good, right? Then my friend and I were going to share a package of Jane Davenport washi, and then we just decided that was nonsense. It's $1.99. I don't know why the Jane washi is so much less expensive. Maybe because there aren't as many rolls in there, but this washi tape for $1.99 is just ridiculous. Look at these. There's this purple one that has mermaids on it. There's this one that has all sorts of watercolors and uh, women on it. This one, the same thing. I shied away from washi tapes with this much color on them in the beginning. But what I find is, honestly, I use the tapes like this much more than I use the blue and white ones that I love to buy. Because this will go with so many collections in the spring or summer. This one says, I'm learning to fly and it's blue. Oh my gosh. That, I probably would have paid $1.99 for that. This one says magical, dreamy, wishful, adventurous, hopeful, mystical, lovely. I don't know what else it says. And it's purple. And, and these are not like solids. They're kind of like a watercolor, you know, kind of Jane dreamy. Floral. This will be great for some summer stuff. 
And then this one is kind of watercolory, speckly green. So all really, really, really great washi tapes. Good stuff, huh? Okay, got those. Then I had to get some Maggie washi. And I'm not super girly, right? I'm not really a Maggie Holmes buyer, okay? I was looking for some embellishments that I've seen you guys haul, but I couldn't find them. But I've seen her washi tapes go by in these videos, and I just can't pass them up. So what I thought was, I'd get the washi tapes. I won't keep them together by collection. If any of you see this and you're like broken hearted, I hope you'll be okay. If, if you really want one out of here, I could probably mail it to you. Like, I don't know that I need washi tape with pink ballerinas on it for sure, right? It's kind of like <laughs> the pink unicorn one that I bought. <laughs> Some things I don't need, but I love this one and this one. And this one is musical notes. There we go. And this one. And this blue floral. So pretty much, I had to have these. I mean, these things are adorable. And they're going to be great for spring and summer cards. And the yellow and green one, I'm kind of okay with too. Green goes with everything. This Pink Paisley collection, Whimsical, I don't have this paper pad yet, but I've been looking at it. I think it's only available retail maybe so far, so I might be able to pick it up at Joanne with a coupon, or uh, I think I've seen it for like seven. And since I have another Pink Paisley that I haven't used, uh, I couldn't really justify $7 for a paper pad right now. I am trying to build up the collection a little, and I know I have a bunch of them, you guys, but I promise I'm gonna make a lot of cards soon. This one, I thought I would grab this so that when I do pick up the whimsical, I'll have the stickers. Because lots of times, even if you're willing to pay seven or $8 for a paper pad, they don't have the stickers. And I hadn't seen these even when I had passed up the paper at full price. So some of this stuff I bought because I was thinking about my next giveaway, but I didn't realize that the small priority boxes don't fit a six by six paper pad. So that box that I had before, funny story about the box that I did the giveaway for the inks and the six by six. When I got to the post office, I thought the lady was gonna have like a heart attack. I think what happened was my mom's had that priority box in her house for like 15 years. The lady couldn't even figure out how to mail it. She ended up charging me a fortune for it and I was like, whoa, and then turns out the small ones don't fit so maybe I have to check a medium next time so I think my next embellish giveaway is gonna be embellishments I'm gonna do some I made some you're gonna see in this video and I'll hack into my stash and I think that's how I'll do it so these two uh, I like them I've passed them up before but I got them today just because spring is coming and it seemed like either one of us or I somebody would want these I got pink paisley, these butterflies. I'm pretty sure these are gonna go in the giveaway. They are part of the whimsical collection, but these things are just too stinking cute and they're super girly and I think somebody out there would appreciate these more than I. So I think those will go in the giveaway. I got this bow bunny tags die. I know everybody gets super excited about tags and they're trendy, so I thought that would be fun and you could do a lot of layering with them because there's six pieces in here. I got this because I didn't think I had the exact same one, but I do, so that'll probably go in the giveaway. And funny thing, these two I bought by accident because I was just carrying them around, and then when she rang them up, I was like, huh, okay. This one says Merry and Bright, and this one is a super detailed one. Look at this example they have on the back. It's cute. There you go. And then same with this one. Look at this. They're super cute. Bought them by accident, but one of us will enjoy them. Then I got, okay, I've seen these mirrored hearts before. I don't know if you guys have. These are ridiculously cute. Now, I really, of course, would like stars, but the thing I also like about this is they come in different sizes in this box. Can you see that? So if you are making large embellishments, you would have the big ones. If you're a card maker and you just want a tiny little detail, you have them. There are 45 hearts in this box. This is fancy tissue paper, right? They call it decoupage paper. 
just buy tissue paper if you want. Andrea and I looked at the tissue paper in the different stores and she bought one. This was on clearance and if you see an item with a yellow tag or an orange tag that you want, especially yellow, you should pick that sucker up because that means it's 80% off. Look, look at the tags. Everything in our stores now, the clearance has switched to pastels. So there isn't, there wasn't even a sign that told me how much off yellow was in my store. So that was an indicator or in this store we were in. So I asked at the register, so I paid 50 cents for this. It has a bunch of foiling and letters and patterns. And I thought I want it 50 cents. I'm in. I saw somebody haul this week, a bow bunny six by six paper pad that had hydrangeas in it. And I think it was hydrangeas and something else. And it had a lot of purple. I think maybe it was Secret Garden. I don't know. I got confused today because at one point I had this and at another point I had something about fairies. I'm thinking it was Secret Garden. I bought this for when I get that 6x6 paper pad because I'm going to be looking for that purple beauty. It was gorgeous. I ran across some Authentic and I have a friend who is not a crafter and I'm like, 99.9% .9 sure she will never see this video, so it's okay. She loves goats. I mean, to the point where if I would help her steal one, she would love that. I could make birthday cards for her to give to her friends or and make her a card. She would love to have cards made with goats on them. And I think when you see something that you know would make one of your friends happy, that's when, as a crafter, you just have to do it, right? You just have to say, Maybe I don't need goat paper, but oh, she does. And if she saw this video, she would totally know this is for her. But like I said, she's not a paper crafter. I, I'm, she's not even really a crafter. And that's okay. We can have those friends and then we can make them stuff. I forgot a few things. They were in my purse when I left the store. I don't know. Long story. Anyway, I have these Heidi Swap bows that are pink and fabric. Some are glitter, some are fabric. I'm not a really big bow fan, but I have seen some of you make and use bows in ways that I thought, okay, maybe I should be a bow fan. And I got this Maggie Holmes carousel set. It has their little tiny sticky notepads. So you could peel these off, like these blue ones. There's a whole bunch of layers right there. And these things are ridiculously adorable. So you could use these on a million different cards. You could take them apart and use them on a scrapbook page. You could just glue the whole thing the way it is onto something so you have dimension. Adorable. Then uh, Maggie Holmes stamp set. Remember this, happy heart, magical moments, love you. Has the heart and a bow and some frames for the sentiments. So I thought you guys might like that. And then these Chamel wood buttons were just too cute. It's a totally different color palette than some of the giveaway stuff, but these things are adorable. Look at this one with a little bicycle in the middle of it. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel so you can see what I do with some of this stuff and how it turns out. And I'm really enjoying getting to know you guys and talking to you today on Instagram. We were chatting about how to store your scraps. That's why I loaded that video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.